Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Arcanum. So in this episode we are going to complete the, or at least nearly complete, the Ancient Gods questline. So there is a guy in Tarant, uh, this guy right here, he's an elf city dweller, and he has this uh, picture, ancient diagram. And what this is, is this is a, uh, what's called an Ancient Gods questline. And you complete the uh, blessings in a specific order, and you will be able to um, get a ultimate blessing. And so it's just like we get with uh, like the charisma blessing we've gotten. If we look at our uh, book here, there's a section for uh, blessings and curses. So we get we have several blessings. Well, we can actually give offerings to some of the ancient gods, and they will give us a blessing in return. So we have to offer a specific item. And so this whole episode is going to be dedicated to just getting the items and then running around all of Arcanum and providing the, getting the right blessings in the correct order. And if you do them in a correct order, which this poster kind of hints at, you will then be able to get an ultimate blessing, which is really good. Um, I think one of the things is like plus uh, 100 health and so we get 100 additional health so we have two, over 200 health uh, 100 fatigue so we'll have over 200 fatigue you get like extra melee extra uh, dexterity stuff like that um, so just like a quick uh, thing uh, you start here so you give a blessing to this uh, this one here which I think is Terriel and it's like the, the uh, elven one then you go to this one, which is the lizard guys. And so you give them all in an order. And then you do the next circle, which starts here. Torag. And you go in this one. And then you get the middle circle. Which uh, starts here. And it goes all the way through here. So these are the three circles that you have to follow. And so essentially you get three different blessings. And then you go to the ultimate blessing, which is actually in the ruins uh, of Vandergroth. There's an ultimate blessing that you can get there. So that's why we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to do the first three circles. Then we're going to go to the Vandergroth ruins. So that's the goal for this episode. And if you want to know more, you talk to this guy. And he will uh, give you a book, essentially. Um, he is a, uh, he's a researcher, and he's, uh, researching the different religions, the older religions, they call them. And he calls them pagan religions. So, this is, uh, all the things that you can, uh, learn and ask him questions about. And he gives you a book in the end. All right. I'll leave you and if you look at the book there's like a, a re uh, some stuff about it in here all the different uh, blessings and kind of how which each god is and things like that um, so it's an interesting read all right so that's gonna be it um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna gather up all the materials so we'll have everything in our inventory and we have most of it stored in Tarant which is good but there's a couple of things I need to go get outside of Tehran. So I'm going to go grab the materials and then I'll explain what everything is um, after I have them all. Alright, so we are here in Ashbury now. And the reason why is because, um, look at my inventory, I did get all the items that I have on me. Um, so this will get us to at least some of the things. There are some gaps. So the first gap is going to be uh, the statue... Uh, Litani. This is only found here in Ashbury. This guy right here, this elven trader. So we need to tr uh, so we need to trade with him and get the statue, Litani. It's uh, 18 coins, very cheap. He will restock this every once in a while. So if you mess up the first time, don't worry about it. He'll get you and you'll get a new one after a couple of days. All right, so there is another hole too. Um, here, which is Passion Root, and the good news is that a lot of these stuff, these items, can be found uh, where the altars are. So we'll get to this one, and I'm also missing a 
um, another thing, which is a uh, the a heartstone, which is one of these. I need another one of these heartstones, which is near the altar for that particular person. So let's um, we can get started, and what we'll do is we'll just head on over to uh, the Elven place first to get the statue. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five um, for each ring. You'll have five offerings. So five here, five here, then five here. And there's a final offering, which uh, we will do in the next episode. Um, and you have to do them all in order. So these are all set in order. So we know exactly where to go. And uh, if we look at where to get some of these things. So we know where to get this one at now. The Heartstone is found in the uh, the Bedokin village where those uh, lizard lizard guys are. They um, there's some of these on the ground, and I mentioned it in a previous episode that you're going to need some of these. Uh, the lava rocks can be found in most of the dwarven mines, like the Wheel Clan, uh, places like that. Um, this this uh, olive branch is only found in the. Uh, I believe it's the Wheel Clan mine. It's the main mine here. Yeah, the Wheel Clan mine. So that olive branch is only found in that one spot. And I will show you that later, where to get that one at. Uh, these rubies are found in any chest, along with the manure coins and the rings. A lot of these can be found in chests. Um, you can loot these anywhere. These are found in later on uh, places, so some of the higher level places. You can find these in chests. And you could also find them along the ground. I think in uh, places like when we had to go and destroy the blade, the evil blade for uh, Stringy Pete. I found some in there. Geos can be found in some of the dwarven mines or any caves. Uh, that's pretty much it. The one we're missing here is a passion root. And we can get that in still water just right next door to the uh, altar and we'll get another heartstone uh, when we go down to the Bidokin village all right so the first place we need to go is uh, Falcon's Ache so let's head there and that's just over here all right so we're at Falcon's Ache uh, let's look at our map it's right here and um, here's the altar. If you look, click on it, you can read about the uh, inscriptions, and it even tells you what you need, uh, Latani. So let's uh, give us the... Uh, uh, first, I want to show you that um, the buffs. So it's going to give us perception. It's going to give us both skills. So we have uh, eight perception and zero bow right now. Let's throw this in here. There we go. We have the uh, Blessing of Tyriel. So how this works. Um, look at our uh, Blessings and Curses. There we go. You see that we have Tyriel's Blessing. You can stick with one Blessing if you want. So if I go to go to a different place that wasn't in order, this Blessing would go away and I would get another Blessing. Now when, once I complete a circle, all the lesser Blessings go away and I get one bigger Blessing. Um, so like the first circle is Halcyon. So I'll get the Halcyon, which gives me like five or six different things. As opposed to getting like one or two things per blessing. But as you see, we get more uh, bow skill and we get uh, perception. And you can make these offerings at any time throughout the game as well. Alright, so the next place we need to go is the Bedokan Village. And that is just uh, around the corner here. And we are friendly with these guys, so it's very nice to be friendly with these guys. And their altar is here. So let's go and give them a heartstone. Alright, so we have Makial's blessing. So you know you did this correctly when you have two blessings. Um, if you did it in the wrong order, you'd only have one blessing. Um, it, it would be overwritten because you didn't do it in order. And when you do it in order, you get two of them. Um, you'll get multiple blessings, and then you get the one ultimate blessing. 
I'm gonna go and find a heartstone, which is gonna be somewhere in this swamp nearby the village for the next round. All right, I did find another one uh, on the ground here, so I'm actually got my last one that I need. Um, I can put that in order, which will be right here. All right, so the next place we need to go is uh, the Wheel Clan and uh, give one to the Albrick. So probably know where the Wheel Clan is now, uh, but let's just go here, and then I'll show you what the altar is. Okay, so here's uh, Albrecht's altar, and it's in the Wheel Clan, and it's in the room that leads you to the throne room. So here's the throne room right here. And so when you walk in to the Wheel Clan, you just go straight. Go through the, the first door, uh, the straight ahead. They'll go to one of the branches, just go straight. And you're coming to this floor, which I think is like the third floor, maybe. And it's right here to the uh, north part of that area. So we need to give him a uh, lava rock. And check our blessings. And there we go, we have Albrecht's blessing. And we look at our stats, and they're actually all uh, getting boosted up. So he gives you plus one strength. Uh, so we got a little bit higher strength now. All right, the next place we need to go is uh, Stillwater. And this one is pretty easy to get to. It's right in here. It's the Gishtana statue. Now, if you haven't uh, been here before, the uh, altar is missing. Um, so you have to restore it if you haven't been here before. But if you have already restored it, like I have, as part of one of the quests that we did in Stillwater, you can look for one of these uh, passion roots, like this right here. Alright, so we have our passion root now. Which is this here. And we can just uh, offer it up. And now we have... Uh, the next blessing. And this one gives you plus one beauty. We just get a little higher in beauty. Alright, and then the final one for this loop. The first loop is going to be in uh, Halcyon in Verudim. So let's go to our map here. And Verudim's down here. And you go here, um, if you do the Stringy Pete's quest, it's going to be here. Otherwise, you can just uh, look at these coordinates. And you can go to here by walking from Tarant if you wanted to. And um, this is another one that's going to be broken. This will be broken until you uh, get it fixed, which I did for the Stringy Pete quest line. All right, so this is a uh, Halcyons, and you can confirm that by just reading about who it is. And then he's going to want a. Uh, Olive branch, and so the olive branches you can also find inside of the Wheel Clan. There's a garden area, and there's like an olive specific area for olive branches. So let's give him an olive branch. Now we have a Halcyon's blessing, and notice that the other ones went away. So some of our other ones went away, like Dexterity went down, our Beauty went down, our Bow went went away. But what we get was a uh, plus two willpower. So we're at 21 willpower now, uh, plus two perception. So we're at 10 perception, um, plus four heal, uh, which is going to be heal and uh, spot trap. That's uh, all the bus blessings we get. And if you look at their our blessing book again, it says you completed the first circle, uh, that of God goodness. Therefore, you receive the blessing of Halcyon, the God of Truth. All right. So that is the first circle. The uh, next circle is going to start off with the ruby. And it's Torg and Torg's altar. I don't know if we've uncovered Torg's altar. Oh, here we have. Okay. So Torg's altar is going to be here. Uh, just kind of to the, uh, I guess, southwest of Tarant. Some of these we are actually have to find. This is a very simple one. You can always just read about it and it sells this Torg. He just wants a plain ruby. So just something that says ruby. Not a uh, broken ruby or cut ruby. Just a plain normal ruby. 
and we now get a uh, plus one. What do we get? Constitution? Yeah. So now we're at 20 Constitution. Alright, and next we need to go to uh, Bolo. So Bolo's altar is down here, uh, just kind of between Rosen, uh, Roseboro and Caldon. Alright, we can definitely confirm that. Bolo. And he's going to want a uh, ring of any kind. doesn't matter what kind of ring it is. There's like silver rings, gold rings, diamond rings. I just give him silver. Alright. So we have uh, Bolo's Blessing. And I think he gives you uh, pickpocket and pick locks. Yeah, so pickpocket. And uh, pick locks. Okay. Okay, the next place is going to be uh, Curlin's Altar. And I don't think we actually got to this one. Um, it is going to be... Yeah, somewhere in here. So we have to go to the Doken Village and then walk to that place on the map. Um, so I, I will uh, show you where it is when I get there. Alright, so we actually made it there. Uh, it's right here. Um, kind of... Look at this uh, tree here, the very edge of this corner here, you can just put it right there in between. It's like halfway between this area and this area down here. Um, if you get close enough to it, it'll take you here. But this is uh, Curlin's altar. And there's Curlin. And Curlin is going to want uh, the Manura coin. So let's give him this Manura coin. And we get a blessing for Curlin. So the next place is going to be uh, the um, we have to go to Cree, and it's a uh, Chakar is the name of the place, uh, the name of the the god. And Cree, which we haven't actually discovered yet either, is pretty close to Viridin. It's kind of like on this area right here. So I'll need to just go to this Williams Homestead. And then uh, we can just kind of walk down there. It's going to be like right by these mountains. Okay, so here's Cree. Um, this is where we are. Uh, I've never been here before in, um, in this game yet. So there are some barbarians here. So they, they are hostile.
All right, I think we've uh, made it here. Um, this is... This is uh, Shakar. There's actually an altar here. I don't know what this is for, really. Um, but this is the one you want to look at, and you could read about it. And it says, uh, the fearsome great Shakar. So this is where you want to be at. So Shakar is the bone dagger. And, or it's either that or it's like a, uh, some kind of an axe, like a reaper's axe is what they call it. And this one, I find these all over the place in the sewers on the undead guys in Caledon. There we go. We have Shakar's blessing. And it took a little bit of time to get through this place just because there's all these different, uh, Kree barbarians here. But you start here. And you just make your way kind of like straight, straight up through until you get to this building. And there's the altar. All right, so the next place we need to go to is the ancient temple, um, which is where Morandal is. And we found this place before. Oh, it's up, uh, this one right here. This was what we found when we were doing some of the Hidden Places uh, episode. So this place is, uh, if you haven't been here before, you have to clear this place out. There's quite a few mobs here. Alright, so the uh, altar is just uh, straight over here. It's this weird looking altar here. This is for uh, Murindal. And, uh... Murundal wants a, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, aged ancient Murundal. Murundal uh, requires a black diamond. Let's give him the black diamond. There we go. And you complete a second circle, that of evil. So you receive the blessing of Murundal, god of the shadow. Okay, so this one we get uh, a lot of... I would say like roguelike stuff. Um, we do get some melee. And we do get some uh, backstab, prowling, spot trap. Or no, just backstab, prowling. Uh, we get an increase in critical chance, hit chance, and then uh, yeah, just the melee. So that's going to be the second quest, the second uh, circle for this uh, quest. All right, so to start the third one, we need to go back to the Wheel Clan and go to the altar there. This is the same altar that we went to in the first place. Um, there's a couple of repeats, and so the third uh, circle is just a bunch of repeats. All right, so here's Albrex, and of course we need the Lava Rock. And so we've started the third one. And the next place is uh, the Badokan village again. Okay, so we need to give uh, this guy the uh, Heartstone. And once again, you can find these uh, close in this village here. There we go. So it's uh, Mikhail. And we have that one going. Uh, the, th the third one on this third ring is going to be uh, Curlin again. So Curlin is pretty close by. And if you're traveling, if you have to uh, walk from place to place, they're kind of close together, which which makes it a little nicer. So let's give him the newer coin. And now we have to go to uh, Bolo, which is down here. Uh, Bolo's altar. Oh, it's down here. And he wants the ring. Alright, so now we have to go to uh, uh, Gorgoth's Pass. And we don't actually have that one on our list, but it's actually this little place right here. Um, it's not a very big place. We have to walk there. You should just be able to get to right here, and it should take you to that spot. 
All right, so here's Gorgoth's Playhouse. It's kind of like in like at the base of this mountain here. And um, so we have, to, we have to walk through here. You can get to it from the other side of the world too. If you're coming from this side, you can get to, to there. It's supposed to take you through the mountains. So it's going to be um, not too far down here, but there are some monsters. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, speed this up. All right, so we finally made it to the altar. This is going to be for uh, Katan, and we can just read about it. Uh, Katan, and uh, they require geodes. It's actually, uh, I did find a geode right here. Uh, I think somebody picked it up, though. I think How she picked I it up. You? Yeah, so she has a geode. I brought my own too. You do get some stuff from uh, a dead body. But let's give them the, the uh, altar. Okay. Now we looks like we have a third circle. So now the final circle. The final circle is going to take place in... Oh, I can't get out of here by that. I'll have to um, just run out of here. Which is not too far from the end, actually. So the final circle... Um, the final blessing will come from the uh, Vandergroth ruins, and so we will do that in the next episode. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm actually going to go and dump off my inventory, since I have the first three circles down. Uh, circle one, two, and three. 
we will do the final one and in the next episode and that should be it and the final one only requires you yourself so it only requires you to give you i guess you give yourself up if you will and then you'll get the uh, ultimate blessing uh so i guess just to tell you what this blessing does uh you get let's look at our stats here we get some uh persuasion and we get some haggle We uh, also get some bow skill, and we also get uh, charisma and beauty. So nine charisma, and then 11 beauty. So there we go. So that's gonna wrap up this episode. I uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully it's uh, not too dark to where you can't see uh, my character. I didn't think about that. Um, I can sleep here, I can't sleep here either. I hope it's not too dark, but uh, there is an altar here. Hopefully you can see that it light up. And it's in the uh, upper corner of a map. Oh, I guess I can't see the map either. Uh, it's just in the corner um, of this place. And it's kind of a little bit confusing going through this place. And I should probably did it in the daytime. So I apologize for that. But that's going to wrap up this episode. I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.